Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the channel. And today I'm going to give my review of Survivor Series 2001. Starting off the evening, we'll go to our first match of the night. It is Al Snow versus Christian for the European Championship. I thought it was an okay opening matchup for Survivor Series 2001. Back and forth matchup between Snow and Christian. Al Snow and Christian both exchanged in the middle of the ring, but Christian was keeping the pace of the match. Christian ultimately hits an unprettier on Al Snow, pins him for the three, and your winner of the match. And at that time, still, WWE European Champion is Christian. Hats off to Christian for getting the win in this matchup. Moving on from that, we go into our next match of the night as well. It is Regal versus Tajiri. Again, I thought it was an okay match. Back and forth matchup between Regal and Tajiri with Regal keeping the pace of the match. Tajiri applies a tarantula on Regal, but Regal hits a double arm powerbomb on Tajiri. Pins him for the three, and your winner of the match is Regal. Hats off to Regal for getting the win in this matchup. Moving on from that, we go into our next match of the night as well. It is Edge versus Test for the WWE Intercontinental Championship as well as the WCW United States Championship. The match itself I thought was a good match. Back and forth matchup between Edge and Test with Edge keeping the pace of the match. Edge and Test both exchange in the middle of the ring. Edge hits a spear on Test for a near fall. But Edge ultimately hits a roll up on Test. Pins him for the three. And your winner of the match is Edge. Hats off to Edge for getting the win in that matchup. Moving on from that, we go into our next match of the night as well. It is the Dudley Boys versus the Hardy Boys for the WWE Tag Team Championships as well as the WCW Tag Team Championships in a steel cage. Number one, I thought this was a good match. Back and forth matchup between the Dudleys and the Hardys with the Hardys keeping the pace of the match. Stacey Keebler is ringside. She ends up throwing a table into the ring. Matt then escapes the cage, leaving Jeff in the cage by himself. Jeff then hits a swanton off the top of the cage. Trying to hit Devon, but missed and went through the table. Dudleys then go for the cover, pin for the three, and your winners of the match. And at that time, the new WWE Tag Team Champions are the Dudley Boys. Hats off to the Dudley Boys for getting the win in this matchup. Moving on from that, we go into our next match of the night. It is a Battle Royal matchup. I thought it was a good match. Back and forth matchup. Billy Gunn and Tess were the last two competitors in this match. But Tess ultimately eliminates Billy Gunn, and your winner of the match is Test. Hats off to Test for getting the win in this matchup. Moving on from that, we go into our next match of the night as well. It is Ivory versus Trish Stratus versus Jacqueline versus Lita versus Molly Holly versus Jazz for the vacant WWE Champ Women's Championship. I thought it was a good match. Back and forth matchup. Jazz was keeping the pace of the match, but Trish ultimately hits the finish on Ivory, pins her for the three, and your winner of the match. And at that time, the new WWE Women's Champion is Trish Stratus. Hats off to Trish Stratus for getting the win in this matchup. Moving on from that, we go into our next match of the night. It is the main event of Survivor Series 2001. It is Shane McMahon, Kurt Angle, Booker T, RVD, and Stone Cold Steve Austin. Versus the Big Show, Kane, Rock, Taker, and Chris Jericho with the uh, WWE versus Alliance. Um, the match itself was a great match. Back and forth matchup between both teams. Rock and Austin both start the matchup for their both respected teams. Austin hits a Lou Fez press on the Rock. Rock gets up, hits a Lou Fez press of his own on Austin. Jericho gets involved in the match, hits a spin kick on RVD. Jericho and RVD both exchange in the middle of the ring. Jericho then applies the walls of Jericho, but Shane McMahon breaks the hold. Kane then hits a sidewalk slam on Kurt. Taker then hits an old school on Booker as well as Stone Cold Steve Austin. Angle then hits an angle slam on the Big Show. RVD then hits a frog splash on the Big Show. Shane then hits an elbow drop off the top rope on the Big Show. Pins for the three. Big Show is now eliminated from this matchup. Kane then hits a choke slam on Shane. Taker then hits a tombstone on Shane as well. Jericho then hits a lion salt on Shane. Pins for the three. Shane McMahon is now eliminated from this matchup. RVD then hits a frog splash on Kane. RVD then hits a kick off the top rope on Kane. Pins him for the three. Kane is now eliminated from this matchup. Undertaker then hits a last right on Kurt Angle, but Austin hits a stunner on Taker. Pins for the three. Taker is now eliminated from this match. Rock hits a roll up on Booker T. Pins him for the three. Booker T is now eliminated from this match. Jericho then hits the finish on RVD. Pins him for the three. RVD is also eliminated from this matchup. 
Austin then hits a roll-up on Jericho, pins him for the three. Jericho is now also eliminated from this match. Jericho then attacks The Rock. Rock then goes for a rock bottom on Austin, but Austin counters it with a stunner. Angle then attacks Austin. And then Rock ends up hitting a rock bottom. Pins for the three. And your winners of the match are Team WWF. A couple of things I'm going to say about Survivor Series 2001, man. Number one, this was not a bad Survivor Series at all, in my honest opinion. The opening matchup, it was a little bit lackadaisical. There might be some fans out there that are Al Snow fans. Look, Al Snow, he's a decent wrestler at best, man. To be honest with you, he's probably mid-card at best. Uh, Christian, the thing with Christian is, and it's always going to surround Christian throughout his entire wrestling career, is that every time you've seen Christian, you've always seen Edge. And Edge, in my honest opinion, was a way better athlete and better wrestler and competitor in the ring than Christian was. Not saying Christian didn't have a great career. If, I, if anything, I think Christian was a great Intercontinental Champion. In my honest opinion, he was one of the best. In my honest opinion. And honestly, as far as his in-ring career, my honest opinion, I think Christian's best in-ring work that he's ever done is when he was in Impact Wrestling as Christian Cage. I think when he was in Impact Wrestling, he had a phenomenal career in Impact, and he put on a lot of phenomenal matchups in Impact Wrestling. As far as his singles WWE run, it just didn't, it wasn't there. Because like I said, when you saw Christian, you always wanted to see Edge, and Edge and Christian teaming up and becoming tag team champions. Now, when they split up and Christian went his own way and Edge went his own way, obviously it paid off more for Edge and his singles run. And he went on to have a fantastic career and he's still wrestling till this day, as well as Christian. But Edge is more than, you know, the more known superstar out of the both of, you know, him and Christian. Uh, Regal and Tajiri. It, it was a good match. Um, but all in all, I mean, it was more or less Tajiri, I felt like, was kind of carrying the matchup a little bit. And Regal really didn't know what he was doing. Edge versus Tess was a halfway decent matchup. Uh, obviously, the main event being uh, Team WWE versus the Alliance was very good. It told a great story. Obviously, when the Alliance came in with ECW and WCW, it was one of the best storylines, in my honest opinion, WWE ever put together, in my honest opinion, because this was around a time that, obviously, Vince had purchased you know, WCW. ECW was still you know out there. Obviously, it wasn't as strong or really wasn't around as much at that time, but... They own ECW as well as WCW. So having some of these superstars from each brand come in and make this alliance and go, you know, two against one being ECW and WCW against WWE, it made for a great story and a lot of mix up and a lot of different matchups. So I thought it was a great story, to be honest with you, within WWE. Uh, the Dudley Boys versus the Hardy Boys in that steel cage match was absolutely awesome. I mean, what two better tag teams that don't know each other so well with the Dudley Boys and the Hardys? They put on a fantastic match. And that one, that top of the cage spot that Jeff had, where he jumped off the top of the uh, top of the cage, trying to hit a swanton on Devon down, at, you know, down in the ring below on the table. Devon gets out of the way and Jeff goes through the table. It just goes to show you how much stuff Jeff has put his body through uh, throughout his career. It's absolutely phenomenal, man. Um, as far as a rating for Survivor Series 2001 from a 1 out of 10, I'm going to give it a solid 6, man. It wasn't the best Survivor Series, but it damn sure was not the worst couple matches I could have done without, but the main event was absolutely awesome. Like I said, the storyline itself with Team WWE versus the Alliance. One of the, in my honest opinion, one of the greatest storylines WWE has ever produced um, throughout its duration, in my honest opinion. But uh, like I said, Survivor Series 2001, I'm going to have to give a solid six at best. But this is my review of Survivor Series 2001. I hope you guys are out there staying safe. Be careful and remember, stay classic. Peace.